hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so far in the previous videos we have covered uh, amplitude scaling and amplitude inversion signal operations and we also discussed the same for continuous time signals okay amplitude scaling and inversion together combined for continuous time signal now we'll discuss the same for discrete time signals so here we have this discrete time signal where we have to perform this operation minus 2 xn so here 2 xn means amplitude scaling will occur scaling factor 2 and then we have minus 2 xn the negative sign means it's a combination of both amplitude scaling and inversion so we can do it in two steps first we will do 2xn then we'll do minus 2xn or we can do it directly so in this first question let us do it in steps so first we'll do 2xn and then we'll do minus 2xn so for 2xn of course the amplitude will get doubled so we have to draw a slightly longer amplitude axis and the time axis time axis will stay the same 1 2 3 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so at n equals to 1 here the amplitude is 2 so here it will become double 2 x n so it will become 4 here at n equals to 2 the amplitude is 1 here so it will become 2 here at n equals to 3 the amplitude is 3 so here it will become 6 double of that so this is the 2 x n that portion now we have to draw minus 2 x n for that it will be in the negative axis so we have to draw a slightly longer negative axis so first the time axis then negative axis minus 2 x n 0 so here it is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 is 1 2 3 here it will just be the mirror image of this discrete time signal in the negative axis okay just as if we fold this signal like this so here at n equals to 1 it is 4 so here it will be minus 4 here at uh, n equals to 2 it is 2 so it will become minus 2 equals to 3 it is 6 so it will become minus 6 ok so just the mirror image of this signal so this is minus 2 x n ok minus 2 x n so this is the amplitude scaling and inversion performed together on discrete time signal the first question so this is the second question on amplitude scaling and inversion on a discrete time signal performed together so here we have is this discrete time signal with uh, amplitude at n equals to 1 just 2 n equals to 2 it is 4 and equals to 3 it is 6 and we have to perform this operation so here because of this minus sign it means inversion will happen and because of the multiplication of this signal by the factor 1 by 2 amplitude scaling will occur now here the scaling factor is in fractional form 1 by 2 so here there will be attenuation the amplitude of the original signal will decrease also inversion will happen so here we can do it in two steps first we can do 1 by 2 xn then we can do minus 1 by 2 xn 
but uh, we have already done that in the previous video so here we'll do directly so for that what we have to do at each of these points 1 2 3 we have to multiply the amplitude with minus 1 by 2 so 2 into minus 1 by 2 it will be minus 1 okay at n equals to 1 then 4 into minus 1 by 2 it will be minus 2 at n equals to 2 and 6 into minus 1 by 2 it will become minus 3 at n equals to 3 these are the amplitude which we will get so let us do that so for that we have to draw this minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 it is 1 it is 2 it is 3 at 1 it will be minus 1 by 2 into 2 which will be minus 1 at 2 it is minus 1 by 2 into 4 which will be minus 2 and at n equals to 3 it is minus 1 by 2 into 6 which is minus 3 ok so this is minus x n by 2 ok so this is the uh, amplitude scaling and inversion performed on a discrete time signal the combined operation ok so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much